This is Steve Carrington, Palmer Mayor. I want to take you five days into the future for our June 28th, 2022 meeting at six o'clock. For on our consent agenda, the first item that kind of happens automatically unless we pull it off and put it later in the agenda. First item is an action memorandum, memorandum 22-038, basically having to do with $20,000. The Board of Economic Development had met with us in a joint meeting and was asking that we do some studying for downtown development, particularly of the railroad right of way. So that money is mostly supposed to be going towards preparing and having public meetings where we can discuss ideas of how we could use the railroad right of way in the middle of town as it is. Uh, then there's also an action memorandum twenty two dash zero four zero, basically buying salt for the winter time. That's for thirty six thousand and some odd change. Uh, another memorandum for twenty two dash zero four one to purchase some video projection equipment uh, for the Palmer Community Center from Sound Decisions, and then basically through a grant from the state. Um, and that's to be, I don't know if you've been, our arts train depot is set up as a community center now, and it's set up fairly nicely, except the technology aspect. So I believe that might actually get some Wi-Fi down into downtown area there, as well as some projectors and screens so that meetings could actually see what they're trying to project on the wall instead of just have a hint. There's also a section for reports. So there's the city manager's report, mayor's report, city clerk's report, and city attorney's report. I've actually got a bit of a written report in the packet, uh, basically talking about Palmer Pride Picnic, uh, the fourth Friday in July, Palmer people band together to celebrate Palmer, I think is how one article called it. Uh, these banders, as I said, originally came together to celebrate their pride in Palmer area after uh, Many people in the city were promoting Palmer to be an all-American city, and we didn't actually get to be a finalist for that, but people had spent so much effort and time thinking about how great Palmer was, they decided to have a celebration anyway. So July 22nd will be the Palmer Pride Picnic, and I would remind council members that we're looking for some beautification awards, so they should... Uh, be giving suggestions. Um, I believe you can send those to Kristen or if you need to send it to mayor at palmerak.org for beautification awards for areas in Palmer that we want to honor. There will also be the Citizen of the Year Award and uh, in my report I listed uh, who's won the award, well for most years anyway, from 1989 to 2021. In 2020 we just, that's the year we don't talk about. But and that's what I have for my report. There's public hearings, uh, a couple ordinances and a resolution. Um, ordinance number 22-003 amending the Palmer Code to allow for cancellation of approved leave to address resignations submitted after the leave is approved. Uh, something our manager is bringing forward to kind of codify and set the set the rules in place for how employees use their leave and if they're resigning and how all those things work together. Uh, the next ordinance is 22-004 is um, pertaining to eligibility for council members and the mayor. Um, that will be a public hearing as well as I'm sure some discussion from the council as to what we should be doing about that. And the third item is a resolution number 22 020, uh, basically authorizing the city manager to accept $35,000 for the Bill Herman tennis courts in the downtown area. Uh, we've been renovating those. They should actually be renovated by, I believe, in July. They should be done. Uh, but that's getting $35,000 from the school district, I believe. Yeah, school district for acceptance of it because various schools you actually use those courts so those are being um, renovated now but we also were asking for money from the school district as they participate in the usage thereof and then in action memorandum we have uh, direct the city manager to notify the state of Alaska for a city council statement of non-objection of the liquor license renewal for Pizzeria Delphi restaurant so they continue to have their beer and wine license and uh, other than that, there's, of course, a couple audience participations. 
And then that's all that's on the agenda for that meeting of the 24th. No, June 28th. So this has been Steve Carrington, trying to take you five days into the future for our June 28th meeting at the Palmer City Council. 